Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Vegan Nomada again today. I'm trying out my new GoPro, so bear with me a little bit and we're going to see how this goes. Eventually I'm hoping you know, this GoPro turns into once I'm able to do video editing, we can get basic shots from different angles and of course getting outside of the kitchen and doing other stuff. But anyway, today I'm going to make some basically soup and grilled cheese. I was going to get some tomato soup, but they are all out of it at the store. I got today instead some Amy's Organic Southwestern Vegetable Soup. It's got some corn, potatoes, black beans, onions, carrots, bell peppers, celery, basically every, every vegetable you can think of. And with that, I'm going to make some grilled cheese with some of this local white Italian bread sliced already. And I just heard about this chow cheese made from tofu, it looks like. But I'm, I'm told it, it melts amazing, it tastes great. I haven't tried it yet. We're going to try it out today. And it's pretty simple. I mean, the only really bad fat in it is some coconut oil. Some, yeah, coconut oil, which is some saturated fat. And I'm also going to put in that, that grilled cheese some fresh-made sauerkraut that I made myself. Hint, hint. Another future video to come. There's a the sauerkraut right there. Fermented for about probably about six or seven days. You don't have to go as long when, when you're in warmer climates, but it's a little chilly up here. So I'm gonna take my bread here. Most people like to spread the butter on there, but me, I figure just throw the throw this vegan butter in there. It's earth balanced. Throw it right in the pan like that. That way you can spread it all around. I don't have to worry about spreading it. And the whole bread gets co covered. So I'm gonna throw the bread in there. Kind of rub it around. So I'm gonna take our cheese here. Chow cheese. I said you don't have to put the sauerkraut. I like the sauerkraut because it's a nice probiotic and it's got a nice color to it. But this is a combination of this one head green and one head red. You see how the, the red's kind of leaked over and taken over. But it's perfect. perfect. And back, I got my soup heating up. I like some spice. You don't have to use the crushed red pepper. I'm gonna crush red pepper and a little bit of nutritional yeast. Get some B12. Nutrition yeast. And then I'll just take the other piece of bread. As I as before, I've said I've I've been cooking a long time, so my fingers can handle a lot more than you. So I'd I'd suggest using using a spatula. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable. I just don't want you guys getting burned. I mean, man, oh, you didn't tell me that. Pretty much, I already got a grilled cheese made here in the oven. Take it out. I'm just gonna show you the final product. Soup is heated up. Got steamy deliciousness here. There we go, simple meal. 100% vegan. Not 100% homemade, but it very well can be. Look at that. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Vegan number.